Hello everyone, Master Xeon 101 and in this video I'll be showing you how to get started with creating your very first insert and this insert is for kit ops and will also be animated using drivers and constraints so without further ado let's go ahead and begin alright now getting started I'll go ahead and press con uh, Alt Shift C to turn on screencast keys press A to select the cube G Z minus 1 enter to place it on the uh, grid floor just make it easier for us to do our cutting I'll shift A, add a mesh cylinder, S to Z, we'll select the cylinder and the cube, control numpad minus to cut inside of it. At this point, we're going to press Alt W to start box cutter. And with nothing selected, I'm just going to draw a box, hold tab, middle mouse drag to bevel all the edges. I've rolled up the mouse so that it's at 10. 10's just been a number that's been working real good lately. We'll scale it up, press Alt G, and we'll use box cut to cut it. And from here I'll press period to make my rotation point the 3D cursor. We'll type in R45 and we'll scale it in. There we go. We'll take this and we will Alt X to mirror it across using hard ops. And we can also do it again on the Y. And notice that they consolidate both of them into one mirror modifier, no longer with two. So from here, we'll just scale it down. We'll take this and control numpad minus, or uh, my mistake, uh, control numpad plus to connect it. And here we are beginning to uh, make our piece here. So the next thing from here is I'll select the main part. We'll choose box cutter to uh, just cut that off let's try it again instead we'll apply the boolean and then use box cutter just kind of keep it real flush with the surface just something I've uh, gotten used to doing another thing is uh, we'll bring it down press E extrude it up and I'll use spacebar and use offset edges to get an edge offset we'll uh, select this face up top control plus grow it once delete We'll just um, select this boundary loop, and this one, press W, bridge edge loops, select this top, fill it in, and now we have a inset that we can use when it comes to cutting in here. Um, so continuing from here, um, I'm gonna shift A, add a cylinder, and we will S sharpen it, control one to add a level of sub D, we'll alt C to convert it to a mesh, uh, applying the sub D and then we'll use clean mesh and basically we've up this cylinder giving us a slightly better looking cylinder than the one that I used when I was practicing so right here we'll press control A apply scale tap in edit mode bevel this face bring this down scale it in and we will just cut in a notch using 3D box so while we're beveling it, I'll press plus a couple of times. And that's what we cut in here. So I'll press R, 4, 5. We'll press Control A to apply rotation, allowing us to symmetrize it on the X and the Y. So when it comes to drivers, um, what I do is up here in the uh, transformation, I will drag one of these to find the one I want to put on a driver and so right here what I want to do is just type in pound frame times 0 0.15 and by typing this in and pressing enter this creates a driver that will rotate it um, a couple of degrees multiplied against the frame that's going on um, so continuing on we'll take this and we'll use status reset to make this a solid shape again so we'll find the one that's real and let's go ahead and just scale this in a little bit there we go something like that and we can actually use box cutter um, 
you know, people ask what the view orientation is. Right here, I'll use Alt, Shift, Middle Mouse button. And that will orient me perfectly over this rotated object, allowing me to cut down the middle, creating a loop here. And let's uh, just take a look at this underneath. We'll select this and this, press J, look at it head on. And we will take this and turn it into a circle. And then just delete it. And in fact, let's take that, subdivide it, Alt Shift S, Alt Shift S. Okay, I need to apply the scale. Or I need to use loop tool circle. There we go. So slightly different than my test rehearsal just a moment ago. We'll press Control I, delete faces, uh, numpad slash, we'll bring this up and extrude this upwards and we can actually look at this in top view press uh, should have been nine to look at from the opposite but we'll just do a cut there use control tilde and then bevel this a specific area and this will allow us to take these faces and bring it up while leaving this other area down um, and then of course, control N with everything selected to recalculate the normals. Uh, right here, I selected the whole ring and then use shift tilde uh, for select boundary loop to get the boundary loop. From there, I can just uh, control B, bevel it to get something there. Um, now I'll select this piece, press P to separate it and then undo it. And this will give me a separation without impacting what I did. So I'll just use Alt S right here in order to push it in S Z F and so if you have any questions about the modeling here just feel free to ask me in the comments but I did also do a tutorial in the past so I'm just kind of uh, using some of the same techniques from the past in order to make this insert so I don't want to bore you guys with the model so continuing on here now that we have our second area set up I just want to show you a a type of constraint I've been messing with called uh, extrapolation or a transformation. So we'll take the rotation of the Z and we'll map it to the location and oh yeah let's uh, go ahead and select the object as well. And so now you can kind of see what's going on here. So now we'll uh, get these numbers right. All right, so instead of boring you through the process of looking for the numbers here, uh, I found that 0 .020, uh, yeah, 0 .020 and negative uh, 0 0.140 worked for this particular example. Uh, in my experience, I also found you want to set this to local space or else you will have some insert problems down the road. Uh, maybe we can even go from local space to local space. However, for that, we probably need to catch the uh, 180 on the Y. Let's see, where is it? Uh, we want to map. Where do we want to map to the X? Z? use world space uh, similar to the last time no no need to uh, reinvent the wheel in this situation um, so also what I'll do is put a cylinder here in the middle and we'll do the same thing we did before which is S sharp control 1 to put a level of subdivision alt C to convert it to a mesh and clean mesh to get rid of any excess edges we need and that's just kind of how I go about upresing cylinders in times of crisis so we'll use C slash here delete the cylinder, we'll C sharpen this, give it one segment, and we will use the classic uh, copy constraints to selected objects. And we see our selection is reverse. And so now this is our insert. So the final step is we want to take one, two, three, four, and parent it to this BB because this will be our main object. 
and we'll press shift G, select children, select this, press control C, and underneath Blender, I actually have a second instance in which we will just open a blank template file um, that I use for making inserts. So for this, I'll press control V, we'll paste in what we've created. With this, we'll mark it as the main object, cutter, we'll turn off auto parent, and we'll just play it back real quick to see how it goes. We'll press Alt-H, make sure there's no one hiding. And from here, let's add Control-Shift-S, save it. And so I'll always prefix these with A and I. So we'll just call this one 2 underscore 1. And this is what we have. And if we play it back, it's still working. So to get the thumbnail, what I like to do is hold down Control and click Render Thumbnail, which will take us into the scene where I can take this RZ45 and, and we see here that there is a problem with the insert so I'll just use Control shift o open where I left off and we will just apply uh, the mirror modifiers so on this one apply and on this one apply we'll save it again and let's hold control click this and RZ45 and sometimes it breaks in this particular window however whenever we render thumbnail we get exactly what we're going after and I hope I did not accidentally save that file good you don't want to save it after you make the uh, thumbnail file that's just for after you save the file you just want to perfect making the thumbnail yourself but there is an automated process but sometimes you can get a uh, better more adequate photo yourself so now in this file I'll press control N reload the file and over here under prim pack this pack I've been working on we can see a and I circle underscore one so right now when we insert it it does nothing it's just a, like a classic insert but if we press alt a it'll go through and do its thing but we see that there's some things that aren't working on it so if we go ahead and reload the file let's uh, actually load the correct file so if we load the correct file, we can mark that this is an animated asset. Um, we can double check it here. So I'm just going to save it. All right. So we'll save that new file and let's test it again. So now we go in here, we bring it in. This is what we have. However, it doesn't appear to be popping out when it comes to the side. So let's look at, let's turn off auto select insert and diagnosis. So it's local space and local space. So let's open the insert for the finale. Go here, come out of full screen, change this back to a 3D view. How weird blender can be sometimes we'll change this to local space as well save it and now we have our animated insert and if we go ahead and reload our file and open the kit ops panel and go under the premium pack which is the first pack i'm working on right now we can plug this bad boy in and that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and showing how you can get started using uh, kit ops in addition to also hard ops and box cutter at the same time and some basic modeling techniques and maybe even learned a few things about using constraints. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. And once again, I'm being um, bothered by a phone call. So I'll see you guys next.